This will be your how to guide to talent, Ed, as a supervisor and evaluator. You will sign in using your department-issued credentials. If you are viewing this screen, your email isn't synced correctly with your talented account. Please contact the manager of the employee effectiveness system immediately to rectify this issue. There are two ways to view your staff that you are evaluating. The first way is by going to My Staff, then clicking on Dashboard. This will show you all the processes that need to be started and your overdue tasks regarding your direct reports, which are your staff members. The second way to view a direct reports evaluation process is by going to My Staff, then clicking on Staff, then clicking on the Evaluation tab, and then selecting View. Once you hit View, the evaluation process will open. From here, you will see which tasks belong to you as a supervisor and which tasks belong to your staff member, aka Direct Report. To open one of your tasks, you will hit Go to Form. If you are a principal, and would like to assign a process to an assistant principal, you may hit the Reassign button to assign that task to a different evaluator. If you would like to schedule a task for a certain day, you may hit Schedule and enter the desired date. Once you click Go to Form, the form will open up and you will be able to sign and submit your form by hitting Save and Submit. If you would like to finish your task at a later time, you may hit Save Progress to save a draft of your work. Once a task is signed and submitted, it will go to the Assigned Signature inbox, which is located in the top right corner of the page. Once the employee and the supervisor both sign the task, the task will be completed. Once a task is completed, a green checkmark will appear next to the task. If a form was opened and a draft was saved, a blue circle with three dots will appear next to the task. If a task is submitted, a teal circle with a dash will appear next to the task. As an evaluator, your final task is the summative evaluation form. This form is typically a weighted calculation of observation scores, attendance, and any other scoring rubric, depending on who you are evaluating. Based on this calculated score, a final performance rating will be given such as unsatisfactory or distinguished. Once the summative evaluation form is complete, you may mark the process as complete. Once this is done, you are fully finished with that staff's evaluation process. If a staff refuses to finish their evaluation process after documented reminders, a supervisor may add a letter of non-compliance to their evaluation process at the end of the school year that will result in an unsatisfactory rating. To add a letter of non-compliance, you will click Walkthrough on the left-hand side, then select the name of the employee. Then you will choose their evaluation process. Then you will select Letter of Non-Compliance in the Walkthrough drop-down menu, and then you will choose Letter of Non-Compliance in the Workflow drop-down and hit Start. Once a Letter of Non-Compliance is started, it will automatically be added to the staff member's evaluation process, resulting in an automatic, unsatisfactory performance rating for the school year. Copies of the Letter of Non-Compliance will be sent to the superintendent and to their HR file. Your feedback is important and we want to hear it. Please feel free to contact the program manager of the Employee Effectiveness System if you have any questions, concerns, or any feedback regarding the evaluation process.